What's up everybody? It's Greg again. I'm going to do another video today. Um, today is going to be Ken Griffey Jr. Day. I have, I don't know, 20 Griffeys I'm going to show off real quick. Uh, I just, you know, everybody's a Griffey fan. I've picked up a few along the way and I wanted to share them with you guys. Um, it all starts with 89. So... I didn't intend to get this card, which is weird. Um, I bought 2001 E-Tops. I bought a lot of them, like a lot, not a lot. Um, got Nomar, Ichiro, Mark Mulder, Mike Piazza, maybe one, Randy Johnson. And the guy kept giving me excuses on eBay. He had like two feedback. But I bought the lot from him, and he kept giving me excuses on why he hadn't shipped. Um, starting to get frustrated. eBay actually refunded me, and the guy ended up um, sending the package, and he included this in the package. So I was grateful. I tried to send him a message, but his account was deleted. So he sent these and ran. He sent my package and just disappeared, which is weird because I figured he would not send the package, especially adding this. Um, but regardless, I now own this. Um, I don't know. I, I guess I can crack it. I don't really have any need for it in a case. Um, it's what's considered an 8.5, but it's cool. It was a free card. Um, next up, you guys may know this one, the 89 Upper Deck. Um, I got this in Las Vegas with my mom. She went to a convention and brought me, I was 16, and I asked if we could go to a card shop, and we found one in Vegas, and the guy had a factory set, sealed set. So my mom had won, you know, a couple hundred bucks at the casino, and she wanted to get me something so I asked for the 89 factory set which this was number one, card number one and now I have the set along with this bad boy this was one of the cards to get in the 90s um, everybody loved it so I had one um, next up we got the Fleer 90 soaring stars I got this at a card show I think it was like a dollar uh, it's just cool. It's got that old rainbow. Kind of reminds me of the more you know when it goes across. Dun, dun, dun. The more you know. Uh, so I just wanted to have one of these. Nothing big. Just a cool card. <clears throat> um, I love these cards. The 94 Flare Hot Gloves. This is an awesome picture. I actually traded this and I regretted it immediately. I made a huge mistake, Joe Bluth. Uh, so I got another one, like immediately. It, it was like 15 bucks, I think. Um, but it's just an awesome card, I just wanna keep it. Um, I love the die cut, 94, you know, this was a big card in 94. Uh, just to see him in his little glove, it's an awesome color, awesome picture. Uh, really cool card. Next up, we have the 94 Leaf Limited. Again, this was like a dollar at a card show, if that. Um, just, I liked these back in the day. Uh, nothing more than that, it was just a cool card. I wanted to have one. Uh, next is the 94 Score Cycle. Another cool card. I think it was $2 at the show. Uh, I always pick up Things like this, when they're available for cheap, um, doesn't hurt to have them. It's cool to look at. Never going to say no to them. I really like this card. Got it at the same show. It is the um, Select Crown Contenders. It's very, very colorful. Um, you know, refractors and rainbow colored cards are my weakness. And this is just an awesome card. It's cheap, super cheap. I think it was four bucks. Um, 
but it's awesome. I love these. I got the Frank as well. Super card. Just can't. It reminds me of, like the Speed Merchants on the Nomar. Um, it's just awesome. The shine is perfect. This is the 95 Pinnacle Museum Collection. As you can see, it's got the Dufex. Uh, this is just an iconic picture. Uh, I know a lot of people have talked about this picture um, in articles and like the quintessential 90s baseball picture. And it is. I wanted the Dufex. You know, I like them shiny. So I wanted this card, but I wanted it to be the Dufex version. So I found it for, I think, 10 bucks. Eight to ten dollars. Very cool card. This card may be hard to see. It is the score dream team. I don't know if I can get the hologram. Not really. So there, that's kind of better. Having a hard time with it. Oh well, it is a hologram, Ken Griffey Jr. hologram. Um, that's better. I like holograms. I remember getting the Denny's holograms, ordering a Grand Slam, get a Denny's hologram. That was cool. 95 Studio Platinum. My buddy and I, I remember getting these and we would pretend they were like credit cards. You know, they kind of look like credit cards. Um, we love these, the gold and the platinums obviously were hard to get. Uh, they were very cool in 95. Nice little gimmick um, it's in the back, it's got like the signature. <laughs> Take it to the store, have, have them charge King Griffey Jr. for some packs. Uh, this is the 95 Ultra Power Plus. I pulled the or the Frank Thomas. We were in Gulf Shores at, on a vacation, and as usual, I asked if there was any card shops around. We went. I got a few packs. Pulled the Frank Thomas uh, while we were in the car. Super stoked about that. It was like one out of twenty packs or something, but I was very happy to get the Frank. This is the Griffey. Um, these kind of have a special um, value for me because I pulled the Frank, so I'll always like these cards. Next up is the 96 Emotion XL. Uh, it's called Defense. So there's like a frame right here. And from what I believe, kind of got like a felt feeling right here. Can't remember, I'm not gonna pull it out, but these are cool, I like the framing on them. Like the Griffey kind of pokes out a little, like a diorama kind of thing. Next up is a really, really cool card, the 96 Ultra Thunderclap. I would love to have the gold medallion of these. That, I think that's like a $200 card. Crazy. Um, but these are my favorite Thunderclaps. Like you can see the lightning shining like a, a bolt of lightning it's I don't know it's awesome these are awesome cards I like the background like the purple pink background with the lightning coming down these are my favorite of the, the thunderclaps definitely definitely cool cards um, as some of you guys may know I recently got the set I put the set together of these these are extremely underrated in my opinion. Look at that pose. Griffey, you know Griffey just crushed one watching it. Um, the shine, it's got that orange background. Uh, it's a very cool shine. If you take these out in the sun and look at them, the shine is insane like the orange just glows and pops right in the sun um, in my living room I got a lot of natural light and I'll go over there and just put these out in the, <clears throat> the window and look at them 
They're very cool cards. I got the whole set. Um, even Tim Salmon's in this, which played a big part in why I got the set. But these are awesome cards. Next up is the 97 um, Fleer Soaring Stars. This is not the glowing one. It's just the regular one. Um, but these are cool. I think that was like $2. Nothing big. But it is cool. Uh, then we have the 97 SP Game Film. I found this at a, um, a card show just a couple months ago. As you can see, it's got the game film right here, like a piece of film. Um, I don't, maybe, you can kind of see, I'm putting on some light behind it. Um, but it's a clear, clear film. So when it's behind light, you can see like action poses. He's hitting and running right here, hitting and running. Um, I don't have any light to put um, behind it, but these are cool. I I want to say I paid twenty five for this, maybe thirty. Um, but I really liked it. There was hardly any '90s cards at the show, and this was one dealer had a bunch. He had like some platinum medallions. He had just random '90s stuff. I think some rubies, and I saw this and I figured well I haven't really bought anything so why not get a cool card I got this um, I like the this is the Sports Illustrated Extra Edition I read you know as a kid I was like yeah these are kinda cool um, but as an adult I love these I love seeing the Sports Illustrated covers on like a card um, obviously they couldn't fit the whole cover on there as you can see but this is number to 500 it's the Extra Edition it's really cool. Um, I just, I like the Sports Illustrated cards as an adult. I guess it brings me back to the, when the magazines were coming out. <clears throat> but they're really cool. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Here is the 97 um, Ultra Thunderclap. No, I take that back. These are 99. 99 Thunderclap. I also have the full set of it, full set of this. Um, I don't like them as much as the '96, but they are um, pretty cool. Obviously, liked them enough to to put the set together. I do like the thunderclaps for something like all the thunderclaps. I just enjoy them, um, with '96 being the best. Uh, next is I also have this set, which is the EX uh, favorites for Fenway. So that was, 99 was the year they went to um, Fenway for the All-Star game. And these were all the favorites to go. This is like a see-through card. Um, I actually found this one, on, I was looking for the Griffey, that was like what I needed to complete the set, and I found it on Amazon. But they didn't have a picture, so I just kind of took a chance, and it ended up being in good condition. Um, these are very cool cards, I have the set, like I said. Uh, next is uh, Sports Illustrated Road to Cooperstown. Um, these have an awesome shine. I love the background, baseball field. Um, looks like looks like Wrigley, um, but the shine is really cool. These are cool cards. Another underrated card. I think I just got the Frank on COMC. Then we have the 99 Skybox Thunder Turbo Charged. This is see-through. As you can see, um, I love the Aztec cards. It's really cool. He's in mid-swing, you know, probably just hit a home run. Um, there's a good picture. It's got like a purple, um, purple circles. It's just, it's a really cool card. Uh, next up is the Sports Illustrated uh, Diamond Dominator from 99 as well. The The top is see-through. Um, these are cool. It's kind of like an embossed picture. He's like embossed right here. 
Um, these are really cool cards. Can't I'm trying. I was trying to get a no more. I can't find one for a decent price. I'm not sure if Frank's in this set, but I would like to have him if he is. Cool card. Here is my favorite King Griffey Jr. card, and you can see why. It's look at that. That is sick. It reminds me of the Fortune 15 kind of shine. Like I saw this card and I just had to have it. The refractor is sick. You put this and like a Fortune 15 refractor together and you're not getting any work done for the day. Look at that thing. <laughs> That's a beautiful card. The perfect card, I think. Um, here is the Lord of the Diamonds Topps Chrome Refractor. Sorry, the last one was the 99 Topps Chrome All Etch Refractor for you guys. This is the Lord of the Diamonds Refractor. This is cool. I like the All Etch better, but this is a cool card. Very cool. And then last but not least is a Ultra 2000 Platinum Medallion. Um, number to 50. This was one of his last cards um, in a Mariners uniform. Rare card. Love platinum medallions, as you guys know. Hardly ever resist the urge to buy one when somebody I like pops up. So yeah, those are those are my Griffies, guys. Um, I only have like 20 of them, maybe, but I wanted to show them off. I know everybody likes Griffy, so I figured you guys would enjoy enjoy the Griffy show. Um, tune into the podcast as usual, and I will see you guys soon.